it's I've been reading serious I've been reading about Detroit for so long the comeback this is the real comeback this is an artificial stuff this is the real comeback <laughs> you better vote for me so very simply it's not overly complex some people don't understand it if you watched Bloomberg the other day you would have seen the CEO of Bloomberg interview me and I think he understood it and I think the Wall Street Journal now understands it because to me the most beautiful word in the dictionary it's not love it's not respect All right, uh, this is Andrew Kraft. You can see there's some technical difficulties uh, going on there at Donald Trump's rally. Uh, the microphone not working there uh, from the podium. He was handed an alternate microphone, that microphone not working. Uh, the crowd, though, is uh, getting him through this, it seems. He's putting his hands up uh, seemingly in uh, exasperation there. Doesn't look too pleased. Uh, we've covered, obviously, almost all of Donald Trump's rallies this election cycle and uh, haven't really seen something like this before. Uh, seems like some type of extended technical difficulty there with the microphone at his rally. Uh, of course, you watched it live earlier this afternoon. He held a round table on the economy with business leaders, uh, GOP Senate candidate from Michigan, the former Congressman Mike Rogers was in attendance. Uh, and current Florida Republican Congressman Byron Donalds was on hand as well here. So, so this is going on, uh, what, almost two and a half, three minutes. Uh, they don't have a microphone just yet here. This is in Detroit. You're watching right now. It's uh, just past the top of the hour, 8 o'clock there in Motor City. And Donald Trump does not have a functional microphone for this rally as we speak here. Let's keep listening. Uh, so Trump with his 
back to the crowd. He's facing the other side of the crowd there, uh, Andrew Kraft back here. Uh, but still uh, no microphone as of yet here. Uh, and so we're waiting. It looks like he's speaking with some of these technical directors there uh, on hand uh, who are responsible for the audio uh, during these campaign rallies. Let's take this full yet again. It seems like we're still waiting. He's throwing his hands up in the air repeatedly there in exasperation. Seems to be taking it in stride, though. All right, so uh, there you see him. Maybe he doesn't look too pleased that this is happening, but we're going to keep this shot on here just in case they do find some substitute functioning microphone, which uh, they don't ha have right now. Uh, so quite the interruption uh, for these usually pretty well-staged, well-organized, well-choreographed campaign rallies from the Trump campaign there. And some ch chants and shouts of USA from the rally crowd uh, to get through this moment, this uh, interruption, this intermission, whatever you want to call it, this technical snafu there with the audiovisual team on hand. I'm not entirely sure if, you know, they're contractors or part of Trump's campaign. Uh, that remains to be seen. But uh, Trump kind of ambling around there on stage, just, just waiting. We're in a waiting, holding pattern here. Uh, he... He wants a working microphone. He doesn't have it right now. Uh, and so you can see there he's appears somewhat frustrated at this, uh, shaking his head. Let's keep listening. All right, so you see there former President Trump, uh, he's going to try it again. Let's listen. All right, so we do have some reporting uh, from Aisha Hosni at Fox News saying uh, that someone just told her the whole audio system is down. They can't even play music. And you see there uh, Trump is engaging with the crowd as best as he can. Uh, so if you're just joining us right now, we're a little past the top of the hour. Uh, and Donald Trump's audio cut out just a few minutes into his remarks there in Detroit. Uh, he was brought another microphone. That microphone did not work as well here. Uh, this has been going on now for almost a full 10 minutes. Uh, and, and so we're just waiting uh, kind of in this holding pattern. Uh, we are less than three weeks away from the presidential election. Uh, so anything like this uh, has its perceptions, so to speak, 
uh, and no doubt we'll wait for any you know, reaction or statement from the Trump Vance campaign about this technical snafu there. Uh, I would imagine as well that the Harris Walls campaign uh, would run with something like this, like a technical snafu. They'll take anything they can get this close to the election uh, to go after their opponents here. Uh, so let's take it full. Uh, we still don't have audio. We're going to obviously uh, wait and see whether or not they can get this back up there in Detroit, Michigan at this rally. Trump, uh, he's been kind of just walking around, ambling around on stage, trying to engage with the crowd as best as he can here. Uh, he participated in a business roundtable earlier today, also in the Detroit area. Uh, he also made an off-the-record stop uh, meeting with officials uh, in Hamtramck, Michigan. He got the endorsement. Want to put this up from Aisha Hasti. This is uh, quite something. A pretty interesting storyline here. Aisha says Trump uh, made a stop at a campaign office in Hamtramck saying that the Democrat Muslim mayor endorsed him. Now Trump is courting Arab and Muslim Americans. Aisha characterizes this as huge. Uh, so there today in Hamtramck, he got the endorsement uh, of a democratically elected Arab American Muslim mayor in one of these uh, Detroit suburbs. Uh, so the audio is still not working at the Trump rally. Let's keep uh, listening to the natural sound here. All right, uh, so I believe this has now gone on for at least 10 plus minutes almost, uh, and they still have not resolved some of these audio issues here. Uh, but Trump looking increasingly frustrated, shaking his head there. Uh, he's been throwing his hands up, uh, telling the crowd thank you, uh, but they are uh, at the whim of these technical issues. Uh, and usually uh, I've covered campaigns before uh, they kind of outsource wherever they travel uh, to some of these audiovisual contractors uh, who are responsible for running the audio and the visuals of these major campaign rallies. Sometimes they do have in-house campaign teams, but uh, usually they rely uh, on local outfits. Uh, and so not entirely sure if that's the case here, uh, but the audio is still not working at the Trump rally there in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, of course, uh, he's then going over to talk to some of these workers from the venue, uh, trying to keep this crowd engaged here as best as he can. Uh, surprise, though, we haven't seen anyone, you know, from the campaign kind of come on stage. Uh, Trump has been somewhat left out in the lurch here, solo. 
So that was just an uh, observation here. Uh, from me, Andrew Kraft here, uh, it's about 8.15 there in the Detroit area. Uh, we have been showing you so many of these political rallies throughout the course of the day. Uh, there in Tucson, Arizona, remember, uh, former President Barack Obama, uh, they just wrapped up a rally uh, there in Tucson. Uh, and of course, the Democratic Senate candidate, Ruben Gallego, was on hand. Uh, just want to show you this briefly here. Uh, looks like Obama, uh, he's greeting, glad-handing supporters there in Tucson. Uh, so just want to make sure we have that for you as well. You watch some of it. Uh, we'll put maybe a little bit uh, more of it in some of our overnight content here. We also have Vice President Harris. Uh, she's at the podium as well, not too far away uh, from where Trump uh, was speaking, I should say. Right now, you see her there. Uh, she is in Oakland County at the moment. She's speaking live, but we're trying to uh, jostle around with all of these, make sure uh, you see them all, hear them all. It's important to hear from these candidates uh, 17 days out. So we're doing our best to navigate all of this here, but technical issues are still happening there in Detroit with Donald Trump's rally. Let's take this opportunity to go to a commercial break. Uh, we'll have more on all of this political news in two minutes. And welcome back here to Live Now from Fox. Uh, I'm Andrew Kraft. Thanks for being with us uh, on this really busy political Friday night here. Hope you're getting a good start to your weekend. Uh, things not really going off without a hitch there in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, former President Donald Trump at his rally, just minutes into his rally, uh, the audio uh, had some issues uh, and they have not been able to get the audio from his microphone back on there uh, at his rally in Detroit. Actually, let's listen. Maybe it's working. Hello. company that rented us this trip. I won't pay the bill, and then we'll have a story that Trump didn't pay the bill to a contractor. No, when they do that kind of a job, don't pay the bill. That's terrible. They also had a little problem with energy coming into the building, but I'm not blaming it on that. But here is my plan. Do we have fun? And can everybody hear perfectly now? Yeah. I don't like the mic anyway. I didn't like it from the minute I started. And this is important because we're doing things here that are really going to be amazing. So let me know. And if it goes out again, I'll sue the ass off that company. We're going to sue him. And they'll say, what a horrible guy Trump is. He's a terrible guy. So 